Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be a quick video. Uh, I want to show you guys something. So I get a lot of questions on my videos from before about um, when I was doing my odd girl art quilt, which I love doing art quilt. Uh, I used fabric creations from folk art. And a lot of you are like, oh, I don't have the money to go out and buy, you know, new um, paints and the whole thing. And I totally understand. I do love the fabric creations, but I also am limited on money. So I know, you know, what it's like. So I had forgotten. I was watching um, my uh, Let's Paint from Plaid, uh, the group. If you're on Facebook, you see me repost it all the time. Uh, where the Let's Paint group uh, paints picture, you know, paints paintings every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, blah, blah, blah. And Andy, uh, who who paints, had done uh, jeans, uh, rose on jeans. And he used, and he's done this a couple times, and I always try to remember, but you all know, I have terrible memory. Um, but he takes the textile medium. Now, here's the thing. I just got another comment yesterday about, well, what else can I do to make it permanent? Uh, the paint, blah, blah, blah. I can't buy the fabric creations, all the things. And we're all quarantined and stores are half open, not open. And I totally get it. And I'm sorry for the shadows. It's very, very bright today. And the blinds are just not keeping it out. So then I was like, oh, you can get this textile medium on Amazon. You can get it at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Um, even from the, uh, plaid crafts, no plaid online.com. Uh, you can order all their paints there, but I know a lot of us like to use coupons and that kind of stuff. So you definitely can use your coupon at Michael's Hobby Lobby and, uh, Joann's it's called textile medium. And what it does is it makes your regular acrylic paint permanent. So let me just read it real quick and then I'll just show you because I was going to do a background today on fabric and I thought, you know what, let me do it on video and show you guys. This is permanent on most fabrics and what it says, it's water-based, which I know a lot of you are concerned with. Pre-wash your fabric, secure to wax paper covered board, shake well, mix two parts medium to one part acrylic paint, clean up while wet with soap, cool water, before washing, air dry 24 hours, and then heat set which means that you would, <clears throat> excuse me, take your iron and just heat set the paint so it, you know, kind of uh, cures. Uh, wash inside out in cool water. So that means if you're using it on a t-shirt um, or anything like that, which I think I'm going to try uh, doing a t-shirt later. But anyway, regardless, um, wash inside out in cool water. So this is a eight ounce bottle. You can also get this in a uh, two ounce, I think. So whatever, what size are these? Yeah, two ounce. So you can get them in a two ounce too, if you're like, oh, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a shake. Okay. I'm going to open her and I'm going to, I'm going everywhere. Now my fabric's washed and you see I'm doing a lot and I'm doing a lot because Mine will probably not be, it's just going to hang on the wall. It's not going to be um, washed all the time, you know? Maybe it'll be washed once in a while because it's dirty on the wall. Who knows? But I thought I'm going to come on here and show you guys. So you can see I just, what I did, now it says wax paper. You know me. I'm like, I want a twofer. So what I did is I have my watercolor piece of watercolor paper underneath. You can use mixed media, um, Bristol newspaper, printer paper, whatever you want. Because when I put my paints on and it sinks through, I want to have something underneath <laughs> when I'm done. So then I have a background for something, right? So I'm going to do a little bit more because I want the fabric wet because when I put my paint down, I want it to kind of slide and I don't want to necessarily do it so much with water. I don't mind using water and I just use tape, painter's tape, and you can always add more of the fabric. Now this says two to one. So something that you can do if you don't feel comfortable, I know some of you are direction followers and I totally love that. I'm not, but 
this says one to two, right? Two parts medium to one part paint. So what you can do is you can take your um, palette and squirt some of this out and then only put half of the paint in <laughs> that you squirt in here. Mix it together and then use that to paint as well. So you don't have to do it like this. You definitely can mix it. Uh, sometimes I like to go to the dollar store and get those little or wherever, those little Dixie cups. Um, or I save little uh, yogurt cups and stuff like that. And you can mix in there. So I'm doing a background. So, you know, you can mix three, four colors or whatever. Use your little yogurt cups or Dixie cups. Because those you can rinse out, leave them dry and use them again, you know. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do blues is what I'm thinking. And I'm going to put my glasses on because, girl, I cannot see. Okay. I'm going to start with this lighter color, and it's called Cascade. I'm going to shake it. Now, you don't have to do any of the same colors. I just want, like, a bluish background. And I'm just going to do a little bit here and a little bit there. I'm going to take this big brush. You can use any brush you have. You can use um, a, a palette knife if you want it to be, let's see, if you want it to be more like that, right? You can use your palette knife and make it like, I like doing this like I'm doing a mixed media background. So if you want to do stamps, if you want to do all that, let's see what we get to get into today. I don't want to keep these here forever. So I'm just going to use my brush and get those edges the best you can. And you see how nice that slides? It's so is my camera. My camera's like, girl, I don't feel like doing anything today. Um, you see how nice it paints? And I don't care that it's thick because I'm going to go over it. Um, I'm going to put in some, I think this is my ultramarine blue, which I love. And I'm going to give it just a little shake. And I want this blended more than um, PC. Sometimes I like a PC. Sometimes I like it. Oh, girl. Okay. All right. We're going to stay there. So then I'm going to take my brush. I'm not going to clean it. I'm just going to lightly go because I'm going to blend these. So I'm not worried about it. And what I like with using this fabric, um, which I used to use this, uh, it drives me nuts that I, between medication and illnesses, that it takes my memory away because in age, um, back in the day when I started, I used to use, we didn't have necessarily fabric paint. And so I would use the fabric mediums and I totally, I think I even had done <clears throat> videos in the beginning. I don't know. I just can't remember much anymore. So see what happens when we're blending. Look how pretty it looks. Uh, you don't have to blend and I won't blend once I start working on top. This is my background. So for my black back, my black ground, I'm going to clean this. Now, Andy says never put your paintbrush in water. And when I'm painting Andy's way, I don't. When I'm doing Kelly's way, I'm like, I don't have patience to sit and clean my brush with other, you know, and I don't care on here because I want it to blend. So I'm just going back and forth. Look at me go. And some white coming through is completely fine. I'm just going to blend it. Get up there on the, and you can see the different colors, you know, with it blending. A little bit here, a little bit there. All right. I don't want to do too much there because I really want to keep that let me do here, that blue. So you see how we got going on here? Now I'm going to take my brush, just dab it off there. I'm going to run it like this. And because of that medium underneath and the wet paint, can you see how you're, and you, you don't want to start down here or, you know, you only want to go halfway. Look, just do that. But look at the difference. I love when it's, look at the difference between this and this. It doesn't matter. You can like whatever you want, whichever way you want. But it's nice because that fabric medium and paint mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to do a little bit more here. Yeah. And you go back and decide like, oh, I want this through here more. I want this through here. And it's just really fantastic. 
So look at that. So I want to use this as a background for a uh, painting. I don't know what I'm going to put on it, but I am going to grab, oh, where is it? Where is it? Kelly? I had it sitting here and y'all know I'm a big pig. So everything is a mess because I always go, I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean. Does she? No, she don't. But what I'm going to do, here we go. I love this bad news. Y'all know I did, get away from me. Y'all know I did these on the one painting. So, will she do them again? I really like this. All right. I'm going to take this off. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So, obviously, you can see, I'm so hard. My camera keeps moving. You can see, um, the bottom here right but it's more important for you to see yeah okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these and i'm gonna start where the bottoms are and the top of my paper i'm not going to be using these sides that don't have paint and i'm gonna lay this here the best i can i'm not into perfection at all as y'all know, I like it to be nice, but I'm not, I, you know, if I, if I look for perfection, I'm never going to do it. So that's why I like doing that. Okay. So we're going to set that there. Okay. What color? I think I'll go white. I think I'm going to go white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake my white. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake your pants. Open it up. Give it a squirt right there because it's all right. Now I'm going to take, I need a smaller dry brush and I would like to have my brush. That's a little too big. I know if I go in with that little big one, then this one's kind of small, but we're going to go in. I'm going to just take a little bit. I'm not going to add any paint. I got some paint on here and I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to go like this. Now, because underneath is still wet with glue and the fabric uh, stuff, it's gonna, this is gonna be light. And that's what I want. I don't want it to stick out like white, white. You know what I mean? And you'll see what I mean when I take this off. This is gonna take a minute. So I will probably come back once this is all done. So you don't have to watch me, but you see how it's just enough. Now I probably will not put it all over. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna stop my video. <laughs> I'm gonna do all this. And then when I come back, it'll be done. And then we'll move on to the next part because um, it's very exciting. So I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. What I did was I took um, my face that I'm gonna use that I had already uh, painted. And I glued it down with Mod Podge. And you can see, yeah, there's a few wrinkles. It's fabric. What are you going to do? You can see the wrinkles. I like to use that texture to my advantage, but right now that's what I did. Everything is dry. This is what the paper was underneath. Now look at this, how cool. I got a page that's already started. I got some, I can keep or not, some string that glued on from my piece. But I mean, now you see what I'm saying? Now I got a start of a journal page, a painting, um, whatever, and it's dry now and I can just paint on top and it gave me structure to paint on and all the good things that I love. So that'll be a painting for another day. So what I have here is my painted on dry. And now I got to decide the color hair. So I believe I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to do yellow or orange. Let's do, let's do a yellow. Let's just go for it. And then I can always play from there. So I'm just going to shake this. Now I'm not going to add any more fabric uh, paint to this. Uh, I can... I mean, some fabric uh, texture, medium, Cal, medium, my brain. 
you know what I might do? I might do a little bit. I might just stick my brush in because that's what she said. And just get some and just brush it a little bit just to help it flow. Oops, her brush was not clean. Just to kind of get it going. Okay. And while I give that a second, I want to grab. Um, what color did I want to do? I thought I had it here with me. I guess I didn't. I guess I did Come on. Um, I can just go with this. It's just a piece of paper. Let me see if I can move my camera. Just, oh, excuse me. Just a little bit. Because what I want to do is make... Might as well do it now while I'm thinking about it. This will be her neck. And then I'll just take it down like this. And then I can play with that after. So I will cut it and glue her down real quick. Once I cut and like get, get a better sense of what I have, then I can uh, edit it. And I will edit this once, you know, the hair and what I decide to do. But for now, you can see it'll just become that. Okay. So that's like kind of her shirt. And then I can go down if I want it to hang, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. We never know. So I'll just go in with a little bit of glue, a little bit of Mod Podge. And, and I'm doing this before, which I probably should have done before I came back on camera because I'm going to put, put in the hair and then the hair is going to go over it. So how much of this will show, I don't know. But I'm not too worried about it. This just gives me a structure. So if I want to paint on it or add some glitter or whatever, I can do whatever is showing. And this is just a book page that I used on off of a jelly plate, I believe. Okay, so that'll be the first coat of that. Oh. Yellow it is. <laughs> I'm going to take some medium yellow going to be the darker color. I'm going to add it. And I'm just going with sweeping hair. And I'll show you because sometimes, no, I'm going to use these as my advantage. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. This is just going to be the base coat. I can make her hair sweep this way. I can make it sweep. Maybe we'll make it sweep this way today. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let me just get the bangs in. I want my brush the slightest just to make it flow for now. And I'm going to bring it this way and then curve it this way. And this will all be painted in. She's going to have like her hair going this way. And then I'll put some, I don't know, something in there. Stars or flowers. I didn't know. And I like big... <laughs> I like big hair and I cannot lie. Now I don't have to sweep it. I can just leave it in a bob and, and finish it like this. If I think that that's, you know, what I'm wanting, you know what I mean? I'm just shaking this a little bit, but I'm going to 
have it going else. I just want it to flow off the page. And details like how much it, you know, how much you have or whatever uh, hair coming up. That's no big deal. But I am going to sweep this this way a little bit more and give her some bangs that go on her head a little bit. It's all fixable. It's paint. If I don't like it, I don't have to use it. You know what I mean? I can just paint over it. Um, the yellow might be too much for me, too light. So I might go over it with orange. We'll see. But for now, I'm laying it down. And then I'm going to bring it up. I want it fuller over there. A little bit of water just to get it to mush up. I usually, I like to do my odd girls on these kind of uh, paintings, which I am going to be doing. But I thought because we're just painting on the fabric, I would just do a video, you know, painting, doing this. And then uh, just so you guys can see that you can paint on whatever you want. Maybe you have t-shirts in your closet because I know a lot of us are strapped for cash, but maybe you have t-shirts that you don't want to use anymore and you want to recycle them. Or maybe you want to make a t-shirt quilt and you want the fronts, but you don't know what to do with the backs. Maybe you don't want to use the backs. Yeah, whatever the case may be, you can use that back of your t-shirt and tape it down and paint on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just, I'm all about recycling and reusing, sis. Uh, is, ah, uh, is. So that's just what I like. You know, if I can reuse something instead of throwing it away and use it to my advantage, you know, then it hangs on the wall. It's a piece of art. You can give it to family, you know, it's whatever you want. Okay. So you can see, I think the blonde might be a little too light uh, for me. So now I'm going to decide, do I want to do orange? I love orange. I, I, I love orangey red hair. I could do magenta. I'm going in with orange first and I'm going to mix it just with the wet, with the wet orange. I mean the red yellow and just kind of, you know, this way it's not so in your face, but it's there. You know what I mean? It's saying hello, hello, hello. This is how I paint. I, people, I, I, like it is hard doing a, a video on this because I don't have. I'm not somebody who plans. Like I don't sit and paint this first. Obviously, you could tell, right? Um, and do stuff like that. Usually, I just sit and play because that's what I love to do. Sometimes it comes out great. Sometimes I gotta do it four times over top, four different things, and sometimes I throw it away. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> sometimes it cannot be saved. And I'm okay with that because I enjoy the process. I enjoy playing. I enjoy getting to a point where I don't like it and how can I fix it? And then when you fix it to where you get to a point where you like it, it's just everything. I'm sure you guys can relate. You know, maybe it's not this, maybe it's an ATC card, an art journal page. Maybe it's, you know, something, um, that you didn't like and then maybe you change the colors or the subject matter or some of the background or maybe you start it over you know and then you get to a point where you're like love it now i'm loving the transparency of this because then i can go in and kind of 
copy those stars in her hair on both sides maybe maybe not i don't know but I, I do like the transparency. I know it's hair. I don't have to make it so opaque that you can't see through. If it gets a, that way because I put too many layers, I'm okay with that as well. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. And I just keep going back. Now, the funny thing is the magenta and yellow make an orange, which is pretty cool so I can even take some magenta and make it as my um, maybe the highlights on top we'll see we'll see how that goes but I'm just gonna go over this yellow a little bit with my brush I'm not worrying too much at this moment A little darker down here. Now I'll probably just kind of go over it in the darker areas, which will be over here, maybe on the outside, you know, just some I could put it on her dress, whatever I want to do. Maybe I will take some magenta. Let's see. We don't know. Maybe I'll do pieces of magenta. I want to take this down here. Maybe I'll do her bangs magenta. That would take away from where my entrance is. Like you can see where I glue her down. Now, sometimes what I like to do, I, I really like to usually draw on things and paint. Um, but I like this face and I didn't know what I was going to do with her. So I figured I would do this. Well, you can see, obviously, this is where her face ends. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll cut it right at the eyebrows uh, and not have that extra little poop up there. Um, and that helps somewhat. You know what I mean? It gives you more. But I don't care this time. I'm going to do some texture and do some things. And it will be, I could even put, if I really want, a headband. So who the heck knows what I'll do? Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add a little bit on the outside, just very sporadically. Like I said, sometimes you just go with it. You know what I mean? Enjoy it. Enjoy throwing the paint around. All right. And you can see, I can go back with my brush a little bit. Now that fabric uh, underneath the fabric textile medium really helps because it makes things a little bit more, um, what word do I want to say? Slippy. <laughs> you know, it just helps me blend a little bit better. So I'm not mad at that. But what I'm going to do is do this. I'm going to find my Quinacre Brown Magenta. Maybe I'll use, no, I don't want true burgundy, do I? Mm, maybe too dark. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm. Napthal Crimson, maybe. Let's see. Oh, girl, she's going to get full of pain. Okay. Let's see how we did. If I do that, the light will come in and it blows everything out. So this is Napthal Crimson. So I'm going to go in and shake it. And you can see it's a brighter color, but it'll mix with that. I'm going to put that in there and use a different brush. I'm going to use this brush and it is a plaid angular brush and I'm going to dip it in, dip it in. What I'm going to do is just dip a little bit in the water and then I'm going to follow where my hairline is. And I'm going to follow where my hairline is. So that's where it connects on the, I'm going to sneeze, <coughs> excuse me, on my, um, I can't even kid and say, oh, I hope it's not Corona because I'm scared to death. Okay. <laughs> so this will add some depth, not this, I'm going to blend it, but 
it's just a, a good way to um, to add. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to just go in with this and go like this. I might just do it all this color. Oh, yeah. This is what I do. Thousands of layers. Now it's getting dry. So a little bit of water will just help thin it out enough to make it flow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry and then I can go add more coats. If I keep adding on here, then um, it's just going to keep blending, which I'm okay with it blending now, but And then I'll need a little brush. And you can see, I can still see the stars through there. So I can definitely, I'm not going to touch that section, but I'll just dab my brush in the water a little bit just to help it flow. You can use your blending medium, even your textile medium if you want. At this point, the paint is already on the fabric. So me putting textile medium on right now isn't going to really do anything because I'm painting on paint. Do you know what I mean? It's not the fabric. Oh, I kind of like this color. Let's blend it in. A little bit more. That's pretty. One of my favorite Rob Zombie songs talks about stars in her hair. American Witch. You guys probably are like, who? <laughs> what? But yeah. Let's okay. And I mean, no disrespect. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant. I'm a Rob Zombie fan. Okay. I like that color a little bit over this side, just to darken it a little bit because it is going to be less hair. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will be back to probably, or I'll probably add another coat off if I need it. A little bit more over here. And, uh, and then we'll come in for details and those things. I'll just do a little bit of hair there. But if I don't let it dry, as you can see, it's going to start lifting what's underneath, and I don't want that. Like I just did there, but I wanted it to be like the part there, you know, like it's a little heavier up there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that dry decide if I want to put it down here as well probably should just so it like flows right because it yeah I probably should so I'll do that and then um let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and play with her eyes a little bit and you know just a few things and add the things and do all that and then she will be done <gasps> okay so I just played around a little bit I uh did my thing. Let me just take this off. You can see I added the word breathe here. It's hard to see with the lights. I'm going to take this off and I'll show you. 
I added some like glitter and liquid pearls and stuff in her hair and her eyes and just played around a little bit. Haven't quite decided what I'm going to do around her. However, my point was to show you about painting on fabric. I get carried away. Fabric and just buying textile medium rather than buying fabric paint. So let's hope that this comes up all like I want it to. Oh, she's ripping the bottom. That's because I had that paper underneath and I let it just dry on here. Don't do that because of the fabric uh, medium. It dried to my paper, which is no big deal. I have to put new paper down anyway. But see what I mean? It's good stuff. <laughs> but that's no big deal. That'll come off when I go to peel. But what you do is pull all the stuff off. Is she a mess? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. So you can see. And I can, sometimes you save this. Sometimes you don't. It depends on your mood today. And I'll throw it away. Because <laughs> she rhymed. I just wanted to rhyme. Okay. So you can see. And then I have the word breathe. And then I have her. And you have this really great um, you know, piece of art. Like I said, I could peel all this off on the back. And then what I would do, because then if I'm going to frame to hang this, I would put, um, another piece on back to make it firmer. Sometimes I'll even put in a, uh, very thin, like low lo uh, loft, uh, batting fabric. It depends on what I have. Sometimes I'll do felt, you know, the felt sheets you get, and then I'll just, you know, quilt it together. I'm not quite done with her, but I'll show you. And like, I won't throw this piece away on the bottom. I'll use that when I border. First, what I do is I'll go around and just cut the bulk off. It makes it much easier to deal with. And if you had good scissors, Because I don't use, these aren't my fabric scissors. These are obviously my mixed media scissors. But you see, then I have this delightful piece to work on with embroidery. This piece can be thrown away. Or the dog will get it. It's a little bit better. Now, I'm going to leave like a quarter inch approximately. I'm not quite measuring. Sometimes I will... Um, do it so I could like fold it out so the ends are good. Sometimes I just leave them raw. It depends on what I'm looking for and what my feeling is at the time. And once like the um, paint and everything's dry, it makes it stiffer, which is nice. <laughs> so she said. But right now I'm just making it so I can give you a little bit better of an idea. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, these scissors are not good, not good. I need to make sure I push play because sometimes, I mean, record, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I just sit here and talk to myself and I'm like, oh, I did not put that on. Okay, so just so you could see it a little bit better, what the size will be. So I will then either get my good scissors in my other room or uh, I will sew it you know, like measure out the so a little bit smaller than what this is and then um, put a backing on and then sew it and then flip it. So then all this is clean. But what I will do is I will get my good scissors and I will cut up to the ends of the color. So then, crap. then like, see how I'm cutting? I thought I had a scissor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this my scissor? I got this in the mail. So I sent this to me. I totally forgot. Let me even see if I can do this. All right, it says this way. Oh. What? How do I do 
this side. I am so stupid. I know sometimes I'm like, uh, how do I do it? This? Huh. I don't know. Let's see if it works. It just says three times. I'm just not good with it. I don't have to work with that sharpener. Make sure I'm not doing it the wrong way. Who knows with me? I better look. Anyway, I get carried away. Okay, so you see? So then once we cut it up and cut it around, all that, you have this really cute quilt. It says breathe. I'm going to put probably more things on it. I think I really liked this yellow here. I don't know how well you could see it. But it's from when I had the hair down. And I was like, you know what? I really like it because it makes this glow behind her. So I'm going to just kind of like um, get some blending medium to make it more transparent, the yellow. And uh, make this like kind of glow around her. I really like that. Um, and then I'm going to put, I don't know. And you can see up here I got yellow like coming through so that's going to blend nice so I'm very excited to finish it but I'm not going to bore you with me sitting here talking to myself as I finish this <laughs> but this is what she is and this is how you know I've done the um odd girls on quilts um luckily they've all sold out and I'm very glad um and I'm going to start some new art quilts with different things some Wiccan themes some just loving yourself, positive, uh, kind of things. So look for those coming up. Maybe I'll put some, I'll do some on video. Maybe I'll do a live stream. I haven't quite decided. And like I said, I will be finishing her up. So I'll show you in a future, uh, video when she's done, which will be probably by the end of the week. But like I said, I don't want to, I just wanted to show you how great it is to work on fabric. And all you have to do is buy textile medium and you can make all your paints work and it's look i mean even if you use it on a shirt look at that it's still soft it's you know nice just watch when you're doing it make sure you use a non-stick because that's what happens but i can get this off i'm not going to worry about it i'll just wet it with warm water and take it off it's kind of like when you do image transfers so it's happened before i don't know what i was i took my paper out i know what i was thinking it doesn't matter anyway I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you. I hope uh, you guys go out and buy the textile medium. You can buy it online on Amazon. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to support me. I get a couple pennies for when you guys buy from Amazon. Um, even if you don't want to buy products that I have, click on one of my Amazon links and then shop. Um, and then I get a couple pennies for what you buy. Really helps out. Um, helps me buy more supplies and stuff because, you know, it gets expensive. And, um, but if not, just give me a thumbs up. Show me that you support me. I appreciate it greatly. Leave me a comment. That's all fantastic as well. And if you want to join my membership, the link is down below for that as well. And you can go to Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to be mad at you. If you want to buy a big bottle like this and use a 40 off coupon, I don't blame you. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know a battle somebody else is fighting. And as always, breathe. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for being so wonderful. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.